this is going to be by way of an experiment, but I want to see if I can make um, rough cut, raw rough cut diamonds, the appearance of, um, by making a mould and using resin, which I colour. And then when the bead is formed, drill it and add it to a necklace with my iridescent papier-mâché beads, which look like Baroque pearls, because I thought it'd be rather nice, wouldn't it, to combine diamonds and pearls, but they're all made out of resin and paper. So, first of all, I went and bought, picked up, bought, picked up um, some pebbles off the, the road, really, just outside my studio. There's lots of, you know, gravel for people to walk on, and I picked some up and I washed it in a plastic cup with some washing up liquid, dried it off with a paper towel and <coughs> started to make a mould. This is my first one. It looks like a double volcano. So basically I pressed it in. I thought I'd just show you how to do it now, how I did it. So imagine I'm going to have two little, they could be eventually, they, they would be rough sapphires and diamonds. Really. <laughs> okay, we'll start. I will do it this way. I'm hoping I've got enough. Two pieces of silly gum, which is that epoxy moulding paste. So you rub them together and you mix them around so that the colours mix like that. And then you just have to keep doing this, basically, until they start to come together and eventually they'll form an overall pale, paler blue. It's happening bit by bit, you can see. And as you work them together, it releases catalyst and they get warm. Yeah, one ball of blue. Now, I'm just gonna show you in a moment. I'm going to pop that down there. So I work on top of these old tiles. They're converting the old accommodation here into nice accommodation and all the bathrooms and floors are being tiled and so the tiler leaves loads and loads of these in the skip so I've just got them for workshops because they're really useful. So I squidge it out and like so and press in the two pieces of gravel. And then what I might do is bring the, just squeeze gently, I'll show you, I'm just squeezing the um, epoxy just around like that and then I'll leave it to go hard, it'll take about four minutes and I've got, I've got six or eight here, I've got eight different sizes and and then tomorrow I'll mix up some epoxy resin and I'll just add a dash of um, possibly indigo, maybe. Um, very dilute, very little in fact. I mix it up and put it in. And I think for the faux diamonds, I've got some pictures on my blog of raw, rough diamonds before they're faceted. Diamonds come in all sorts of different colours and I love the fact that there are some that are kind of sable and sepia and tinged with rusty colours and gold and bronzes as well as clear and silvery looking ones. So I shall try and granulate the surface um, somehow, either prick it or put some sandpaper over it or sandpaper it and maybe even in the process of of the resin hardening, I can put in little bits of bronze or silver or metal leaf, gold, silver, metal leaf, into the resin. We'll see, and see what it looks like. Might look rubbish, but it might look great. I could add sand as well, maybe a little bit. The idea is that these diamonds aren't perfect clear diamonds. Um, and same with sapphires. It's gonna be an experiment. <laughs> Wish me luck. <laughs> 